Hi, good afternoon. Diana Thomas here again from the Love Marriage Movement. You know, we're fasting every single Wednesday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are dedicated to going hard before the Lord concerning sexual purity and the family because guess what? The family is the basic unit of the society and if we destroy the family, we destroy the nation and we love Jamaica straight. So I want to keep the thing live. You know, I want to keep it live for real. All right, yo, you know, we do it in the format 3.3 people every single Wednesday. We invite everybody to join us, right? In focus this week, what is love? Man, I mean, Valentine's Day coming up Friday. A lot of people have in this lovey dovey kind of vibe. And, you know, we want to kind of add to the discussion, even put it in a bit more context than before, right? You know, 3.3 people, how we do it. All right, um, before we jump into those three points, just want to say, the greatest thing that you can hear from a special someone is, I love you and I love Jesus more. The latter love defines, refines, and confines the former love to replicated beauty. Right? Let's read that last sentence again. The latter love, when he said, I love Jesus more, it defines, refines, and confines the former love, which is, I love you, to replicated beauty. Um, really, really powerful, powerful quote right here. Um, yeah, so just, just to talk about exactly what I mean when I, when I say this, you know, we, in this time of love, it's really important, you know, and, and really, these are the words that we want to hear. We want to hear our special someone, a person that we're interested in, say, I love you. And um, when we say, I love Jesus more, that, that puts it in such a powerful context. It defines it, meaning we know exactly what kind of love we're talking about, right? It refines it. If that means that the type of love that we're talking about when they said to that, that person, I love you, it is purified and held in a particular context um, by the love that we have for Christ. And thirdly, it confines it. That means it means that that love doesn't do certain things, right? It does beat the person up. Um, so, you know, that whole thing about him, him, him beat me because him love me, that doesn't make any sense at all. Because, you know, that kind of behavior is exposed as uh, hateful. Right. So, um, you know, this is the kind of thing that we want to be emulated. We want, and, and this is a serious um, condition in our nation right now. Our people have forgotten exactly what love looks like, exactly what love is. Right. Um, you know, if, if, if a guy walks up to a girl and says, I love you, let's have sex. Is that really love? Because if you were to have sex with that person right there and then, chances are the guy would walk off, right? Or, um, you know, we know how the story goes. Girl get pregnant. Since the guy is not pregnant, girl, and, and, you know, he didn't really know her in the first place. He leaves her and stuff. So, love doesn't do that kind of thing, right? Um, love, love looks for the person's best interest. Love is sacrificial, Right, love puts the person that you love before yourself and the person's best interest before your own interest. Right, that's the power of love, right there, and that's that's what we're bringing to the table. Right, um, so let's just jump into it. Three points, three people. The first thing I want to pray about is that those persons who have special someone's that they would truly love their special someone's, right, that they would honor them and care for them, right, they would stand in sexual purity, trust, self-sacrifice, and mutual respect, right, these are really powerful contexts, uh, really, really powerful um, aspects of love that we, that it, it would be in the best interest of our own smart, our own relationships, as well as in the interest of the nation, if all of us had, had committed faithful relationships that that waited until marriage to have sex we would then be be, be bringing forth children into a, a situation where there is stability where children can um can have access to to financial their financial needs met their emotional needs met right um love things about those kind of things love is not selfish selfishness is actually the opposite of love right that's so important all right, we need to we need to understand that. All right, so let's be praying for those persons who are in relationships that they will stand in sexual purity because that defines love. Right, if I love you, I am not going to um, undignify your, your your body. I'm not going to use you uh, for my own pleasure, but I am going to care about you enough to value you and and to say, look, let us wait until the right context to have sex. Let us wait until the you know until the time is right to move you know in in a stage by stage um sequence um of activities right where there's honor where there's integrity 
those things. Love, again, it cannot exist outside of truth. So if there are lies in the equation, um, you know, cheating and, and unfaithfulness and even pornography, which is like um, virtual virtual cheating, you're still having sex with a person in your heart, right? It, it is not. Those are not aspects of love. And if you find those things in our relationships, we need to cut, it, cut them down, cut it, cut off the, 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 the fat, the things that hinder and so easily destroy, right? Right? And that's for myself. Right? That's a challenge also to, to, to myself. Secondly, I want to pray for those who don't yet have a special someone um, who would, you know, want to pray that these persons would use the valuable time that they have to build themselves and their capacity to love and their understanding of what love is. Right? I would advise that um, everybody, if, you, if you're not in a relationship right now, you, you spend, you know, a significant amount of time thinking about the kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with, um, right? Um, write down a list of qualities that you, that you want to see in your special someone, things that, things that you would, that would really be awesome to you. Um, that's one category. Things that, secondly, that you could, that you can trade on, right? So... Um, for things that would be really awesome, it would be really awesome if the person was, you know, the head of a company, right? So, things that you can trade on, you can trade on, like, you know, where the person is Indian or Chinese or stuff, something like that. You know, you can decide that stuff. And then, thirdly, the things that are non-negotiables, right? So, for many of us, the person that we would enter a relationship with, to, you know, with the purpose of, of um, um, the, the, the vision towards marriage, which is the purpose of relationships in any case, right? There will be certain standards that we have to hold this person. So this person can be um, a cheater, you know, it can be, you know, a, a, you know, drug dealer, stuff like that. Person can be a non-Christian, um, can be promoting, um, you know, the latest dance and those kind of stuff. Like that person have to be have some kind of values to them. Um, that would be that especially for the ladies who are looking for a man the man has to be able to lead you so him can't him can't you know be at a level where him not really know where him depend where him want to do him, him not really value anything in our life stuff like that we have to we have to think about those kind of stuff right i would encourage you ladies to really spend time and get to know the man them the man them spend time and get to know the ladies but if you're single right now the thing shall use up that chance there like, use it up get to know yourself get to know you know the friends around you um understand what you can take understand um what would be what would be best for you um, this is the time when they can all travel the world. You see me? So use up this time that you have single life. Single life is cool, right? And special someone life, cool too. Right? Both are, are, are lovely stages that we must full joy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes! Third point, I want to pray. We want to pray that we would be committed to repentance and accountability. That if and or when we fall, that we... That we get up as soon as possible and run back to God. So, you know, Valentine's weekend coming up, we want to make sure that we stand in sexual purity, right? And for the future, because well, this is not just about Valentine's Day, right? But we want to make sure that we are holding ourselves to a standard. And if we fall from that standard, we run back to God. Run, run, run. God, forgive me, please. Sincerely, mighty God, I come to you. I ask for your forgiveness. Cleanse me. Purify me. Um, you know, that we need to have that mindset because we cannot allow sin to reign in our mortal bodies because we are no longer under sin. But by grace, Christ has set us free from the rule of sin and death, right? Um, Christ's love covers of a multitude of sin. So, you know, that's just really important that we have that mindset and that heart towards God. Running back to him every time and he will forgive us because he is acquainted with our weaknesses. Even as he was a man who was tempted in all eras but was found without fault. Right? So he conquered sin so that we can now inherit the victory um, and, and, you know, walk in holiness. So that, those are my three challenges, three things I want us to be praying about. Right, this week. Now, the three people, mod. The first person I want to pray about is, um, you know, real brethren, Javed Jagger. I want to pray that Javed would encounter Jesus Christ. This is a really sincere um, cry for persons to really be praying for for um, Mr. Jagger. Right? Yeah, serious talk. Secondly, I want to pray for Senator Ruel Reed. Um, Senator Ruel Reed, you know, he is really. You know, speaking out and so I want to pray for wisdom for him. I want to pray that God would direct him as to what he should deal with. You know, he was raising the whole thing about how the man they might have too much picnic all about the place. My God, love killed it. Right? There is no love in this kind of 
splurt your sperm all over the place. There's no love in that, right? Um, sending to real read, really bringing up some really interesting points, trying to bring the nation to see the dire state that our family structure is in. Right? I want to be praying for him. Thirdly, I want to pray for Professor Wintermute. Professor Wintermute did a lecture at Faculty of um, Law on Monday at the UWE campus. We want to pray that he would come into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yo, to be honest, long visit the day when when persons would just come into an and, and, and instantaneous experience with the most high God that would transform their heart forever and leave the place, the whole country, the whole world would never be the same. Right? That's what happened with, with um Salter and Paul, right? So yeah, those are those are the points for this week. Let's be praying. Um, let's allow the Holy Spirit to continue to teach us how to love. Right, that's so very important. Love is a verb. How does it work? What does it do? Remember, just to say a couple of things more. There is no, there are no lies. Lies don't exist in love. There is no selfishness in love. Right, um, th those two are opposites. Um, of love and just to say that, that quote again in the first half the greatest thing that you can hear from your special someone is i love you and i love jesus more the latter love defines refines and confines the former love to replicated beauty peace out yeah